to say I'm very scared and but I've already got scammed and I'm very anxious. This is my first solo dolo trip and it's a road trip and it's like 10 to 12. Let me say that in hours. Guys, we've been arrested. Like I'm very scared. This is the first and the last time I'm boarding Modern Coast. And I'm going to make sure everyone knows the experience we are getting here. And then the devil. Money long, all my bitches are bad just like me along. Uh, Licky berry blurry in the sauce jam. Alibaba saucepan knocking out the boss man. Zoo's looking. I can subscribe. Guys. We are going tomorrow to Uganda. Oh my God. And I haven't packed. My clothes are down here. Like the clothes I'm going with, they are down here. I have not packed. I've just come from my sister's. And I am tired as F. It's Friday. And we're going tomorrow. And it's uh, I've already booked my bus. I'm, we're going to, with Modern Coast. Okay, sorry guys. You a little blurry, so we're going there. Uh, and it's how long? It's 12 hours. They say it's 10 hours, but I think with the migration and all that on the border, I think it's 12 13 hours. So we're going. I've booked the bus, it's, go it's gonna be from Nairobi to Kampala 5 pm, and then we're gonna reach. Uganda by 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. That's approximately. But don't worry, I'm going to show you. And uh, I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I don't think I'm going to pack today because I'm just from my sisters. I'm tired. I don't think I'm going to pack today. No way am I packing today. But anyway, check my bag. <laughs> check my bag. My sister gifted me this bag. Well, this is nice. It's from New Look. See? It's like a going out for drinks bag. I love bags. If you haven't noticed, I love bags. Yeah, it's a, like a dinner bag, clutch bag. So, yeah, I'm so excited. And uh, hopefully I'll pack less. I don't think you need to see me packing. I'm not going to pack today. I'm just going to pack tomorrow. And see you tomorrow. If I forgot the ticket I booked was three thousand seven hundred uh three thousand seven hundred Kenyan shillings. Just divide by one forty to get in in your SD. But I'll write here if I remember. Normal like economy seat is like three thousand, but I had to take that one so that I can vlog more. Uh flight ticket, I checked flight ticket from here, Nairobi to Kampala, it was quite a lot and I don't have a <sighs> it's self-sponsored trip. So uh, I thought let me save on the flight and use the money for touristic things and food and accommodation because I think it's it's that it's three hundred thousand. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. So anyway, stay tuned. <laughs> Now let's go. Guys, I'm currently packed. I don't know how it's gonna fit all of it, but I'm trying to pack many more. So I've just reached, I reached like 30 minutes early, and this is the waiting room. I'm just waiting at the waiting room and we are going with Modern Coast at 5 p.m. Nine and ten, yes, eight. eight. Okay, here is the cup of room. So, guys, I booked uh, first class, and to be honest, I don't see. I wish I could have just booked. Uh, guys, we're finally seated at five forty six p.m., so 
our business because the difference is 700 shillings and I don't see the difference in seats because they said like when I was working they said the difference between like first class and VIP is that you sit alone but if you can see the chat also, they sent me like the seating arrangement, they sent me like number eight, I don't even know. So, yeah, VP, I think maybe if you're paying for, maybe if you have long legs, maybe, I don't know. I just feel like I should have booked business and saved 700 shillings for the Uber. So we arrived at the customs at around 7, 7 in the morning, a little bit late but at least we got cleared by immigration, I think 20 minutes and then another 20 minutes the bags being cleared, so I think maybe one and a half hours. So it's a good thing we got late because there could have been a lot of people on the other buses. At this time, I think 7. Um, and this is not my first time first time like traveling to Uganda I've been to Uganda before like in a town called Mbale but it's gonna be my first time being in Kampala I've wanted to go to Kampala for a very very long time but now I'm just going because I want to visit the place and do content for you guys I'm so scared but excited I wish I was traveling, like my goal is to travel with my future partner, that's the goal. <laughs> This is my room. <laughs> so let's lock. Huh? So yeah. This is my room. Let me open the the curtains. Oh, there's people outside. Anyway, this is my room. Let's can chair for editing. The view. I'll show you later. There's some people there outside. Kapala. Anyway, it's a decent room. It's giving lodging, but I feel like it's clean. But I'll tell you tomorrow when I wake up. I've been vlogging with my phone all throughout when I started this journey. Like from the bus station, I've been using my phone. This is why I like iPhone. The battery percentage is so good. So let me tell you, let me switch to my camera and tell you my bus, awful bus experiences. Now that I'm reaching, I'm reaching at my room, like in Kampala, 1438. That's 238 p.m., guys. And they told me I'm going to be reaching here at 7 p.m. But the way our bus was going, like, let me just tell you. It's the shared room. So it look. I haven't tested the shower yet, but it's clean. Look at this clown.
is, to be honest, the Rolex was not, <laughs> not the best, but the chapati was okay. The eggs were tasting a little bit of funny. So guys, I've come to the supermarket to buy some needed things. This is, this is on our way home. Upper, upper Miranda. <laughs> Nobody told me Rwanda, Uganda has hills. This. Got this water. I told me to buy this milk is the best in Uganda. So this one was 2,000 Uganda shillings. Guys, look at the view. And this one was 2,000 Uganda shillings. I remember how I'm telling you it's better I should have booked this. This is the view. See? And then, this is where I'm staying. This is the outfit I wore with my shoes. That's how I look. I decided to wear for traveling, I decided to wear the the dress that it can be easy to squat when being in the toilet. Anyway, uh, the Wi Fi I'm trying to connect to the Wi Fi of this place and it ain't connecting. And it ain't connecting. How much did I pay for this Airbnb? I thought it at Airbnb. So, guys, tell me if this is the same place. They're telling me this is the same place. But it's not the same place because look, I'm gonna complain. This this bed, look, look the color, look at the the thing here, and they're saying that it's the same room. And this is now the room. This is the color. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep tonight. If it's uncomfortable, they're giving me something that is not. I'm gonna complain, guys. I'm polite, but spending the bois. And I'm so hungry. Let me tell you about what happened. What happened at Nini? Let me tell you what happened with the modern course. Guys, I told you, they told me like it's gonna reach like what time? They told me the bus is gonna reach Kampala because we we were to board the bus at five. We were to board the bus at 5, Nairobi, and then reach Kampala at 7. Let me see. He told me, like, he, it will reach Mombasa, Modern Coast. I'm so... I am so shocked, guys. The, the bus was going, like, it overloaded, like, cargo. It overloaded cargo, and it was going like this. The Katuto is... If, like I am so shocked to read the border at seven and to come to from the border Busia border to Kampala it's just only four hours but it took more than seven hours just to come here like I don't know what was wrong with the car and it was like picking passengers on the way and route to here so from five we boarded at five everyone was there and then, before the bus could uh, start alighting, like, like start the journey, it took two hours for us to be in Nairobi. And let me tell you, there was no traffic jam. It was, a, it was on a Sunday, Saturday night, morning Sunday. There was no traffic jam. But to me, Fika Sai, Saizi, the 
signed on my fika, like in my room and checked in and everything. I am shocked. I never knew uh, Modern Coast has this service, like it is zero. Like, the, how can I explain it? It's not like customer service, or is it customer service? Or the car had a issue. I don't know what was which one, but Aki, I swear, if I had the money, I wouldn't board a bus. People are like, oh, this is the reason why I was so scared to board a bus because when I was booking, look at this seat. You see, I booked VIP. I booked VIP here, number eight. And the guy told me, is I will, like, I will sit alone. There will be a space. Was there a seat? Was there a space? Was that VIP? I paid 700 for nothing because the business normal seats were cheaper by 700. There were 3,000 and they were even more comfortable than our seats. Like, this is a joke. Like Modern Coast do better. Like I used to route for you guys. Like route, 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 route for you guys. But Nashanka, I, I am shocked. I am shooketh. 10 to 12 hours. Can you imagine? Hmm? So this is a joke. I am tired. Can you imagine if I was like my time? Thank God I'm flexible with time. Can you imagine if I was not flexible with time? Like we've been on the road, a journey that was supposed to take 10 to 12 hours max. It has taken us how long? Don't say 24. Almost 23 hours. 23 hours on the road. Actually that's the title. That's the title of this video. Anyway, I'm going to take a shower and go and find Rolex. Guys, I'm in Uganda. I'm in Uganda. I'm going to write on my Instagram who is in Uganda so that we can collab. That's why you guys should follow me on Instagram. But the, this place is nice. I feel like they've given me a different room. I'm going to ask the host. But even the Wi-Fi is not even connecting. Things gonna connect, but it's not gonna connect. This place is uh, on Upper Mawanda, and I think I can see town from here. It has views on a hill. And then I paid, I paid the, the special taxi, but the first impressions of Uganda. You guys don't, don't put at me. <laughs> but you guys, Uganda, you are slow. Because I was telling the passenger next door that, no, the passenger, my next seat passenger, that this guy's the driver. The driver was Ugandan. I was telling the guy, these people are Uganda. They are very, very slow. They take their time to do anything. Because if it was, because the modern coast have bought it, they've been Kenyans, and they've always been fast, fast, fast. Like, that's why I like, I love Baska. Because with Baska, it's fast, fast, fast. You guys always say in Nairobi, we are always in a hurry. Hey, eh, yeah. To be honest, it's good sometimes to be in a hurry. Anyway, that's my first impression of Ugandans. You guys are like, you're taking your time with everything, which is good. But I don't know, it takes some, some patience, which of course Kenyans, we do not have. Anyway, I am so happy. This room is so lit, right? Like, it's light. Anyway, let me go and take a shower and I'll come back and tell you about first impressions. Another thing is, oh, you guys call taxis. We call matatu, like public transportation matatu. And you guys call them taxis. And then they're like uh, private cars. I don't know if you have Uber or Safe, but that in Aubawi, but I couldn't order that because I didn't have, I don't want to buy SIM card, I'm not here for a long time so I don't want to buy SIM card for that so you guys called special taxis like private cars, special taxis the, the, the ones we call like like Uber or taxi, and then another thing, Nigani, okay, I'm so tired but I'm vlogging for you guys and then you guys call 
What else did I see? Like that's my first impression. But anyway, in the car, okay. In the car, someone was saying, oh, like with, when we crossed the border, I think she's Kampala living in Nairobi. She was like, oh, Kwaheri. Kwaheri, let me say in Kiswahili and then I'll translate. Oh, Kwaheri, inchi, inchi ya shida, inchi ya corruption, inchi ya uchumi, uchumi bei ju. Like, if I start talking because... It's not nice to discredit a place, a country that has been hospital to you because all over the world, even here, another thing I've noticed like at the border, I don't know if it's at the border, but it's not at the border. I was anything I asked to pay the triple times two and they say like uh any bay 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 Kenya the times times two guys you're not the one who told you for your shilling to be weak so don't overcharge us we are the hustlers we know it <laughs> so the lady was saying actually like oh when she entered like she's finished like crossing the path to Uganda she's now on the right she was saying like when we've crossed the path already, like we've crossed, like we've finished with the migration from the Kenya side, she was like, "Bye bye Kenya, bye bye the country that's so expensive, the economy, the cost of living is so expensive, so much corruption, so much hardship. Bye bye, I don't want to see you again." Like, girl, chill. If we start talking about Kampala, if we have that topic because I felt like I am so such a loyal citizen when I'm outside Kenya that I don't feel nice when someone talks bad about Kenya like I feel like uh, Kenya is my child and I'm the mother I feel like I felt so often I was like <laughs> but we're not going to do that oh, let me show you the whole room I oh, got to tell you guys, I'm getting ready to shower and then I'm like, where's the bathroom, where's the bathroom? It's a shared bathroom, guys. A shared bathroom. I've never lived. This is like a hostel. I'm going to show you. You actually pay for what you get. But I actually like the outside. Uh, we'll see. Wish me luck. I don't want to say anything right now. I want to experience it for a sleep overnight and then I'll tell you. Okay, so for that today, what you need is a yellow fever certificate and your passport. Just of camp passport or you can have temporary passport. How cute is my passport holder? Cute. Can hold other things here. See? It has a hole. Like this is my This is my key to my room. So guys, I'm so hungry. I've decided to just go and eat to find somewhere to eat the guys here have recommended like I try something local guys this is where I am this neighborhood looks it looks it's called like upper Acacia Villa upper Mawanda Road hey okay yeah upper Mawanda Road they said it's like pretty safe so yeah let me show you the neighborhood uh, first, I was like, is it the same room they gave me? But, I don't know, let, let me sleep and then I'll review about it. But, guys, I'm vlogging in Kampala, the part of Africa. I don't know what to do, actually. I don't know what to do. 
I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna go and eat local food. Um, I want to go and eat Rolex. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited. Excited much? Yeah. And it's hot. I mean, I think it's never about this cold. It looks like nyali or I don't know. Okay. Like, I'm super skeptical. Everything is clean, but you know, ooh, you know that feeling when you, that you have, that, uh, yeah. you know that feeling you have when you, are, you have to share like bathrooms with strangers, but you pay for what you have, right? For what you get. But the thing is, it's clean. But I'll talk to you tomorrow about the room. Let's, the guy has told me to be really careful not to block the police and government places. Next time I'm coming here, I'm going to book those Airbnb or this one. Yeah. I think they are more nicer than, than mine. I can't get over the view. Look at the view. Look at this view. Is it a good place to go? Yeah. Is it a nice place to go? Uh, no, it's safe. No, it's no, but you can, you can try it out. <laughs> Which other restaurants are good to try? Other places? Yes, the one. Yes. To eat? To eat? Yeah. I will come to Akashia Mall. Akashia Mall, they yeah. have all the good... We have made there. They have food, it's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not far. No, Five minutes. Ah. You go straight. Yeah, you go straight in the shop down, but I have one place. Mm. Where is the mall? Where is the mall? This, uh, huh? this is where they. Uh, if I go like this, yeah, I. So I'll, just I'll, look like this and then you turn on your right. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Not like this. And this is the kitchen. And I'm actually making tea. I think the only thing I'm gonna make here is tea. This milk.
Then we have cups here. guys i wish i could have chosen the, that airbnb that one is 29 dollars a night this one is okay look bad this one is 20 dollars a night so let me see like i love that view let me show you i love this view that's was where i'm i'm seated most of the time let me open this window so you can, you can see the view. I can't open it. It is okay. So that is the view. That's where I was seated. That's that is gonna be my favorite there, yeah, my favorite spot. And then there's that little house there yeah. that looks so good. That one. I don't know it's hard to focus okay that one okay. that is my view that is where I sit in and that is the view no. new and those are container container whatever I'm gonna change that desk and let it sit here so that I can face the window anyway guys I'm starting to like this place i don't know <laughs> i don't know when i was checking in what i was thinking i was probably uh exhausted to see it like it's actually worth the price i haven't slept yet but i've i've spent like maybe how many hours three hours and i feel like it's very clean that for sure is true and the and the people here have good customer service, excellent customer service, and it's very clean. And I feel like I've walked through the neighborhood, and I feel this neighborhood is also safe, that I can say. The guy told me not to vlog around police and parliament houses, but that's given. That's given in a any place. I never vlog the police. I try not to be in trouble. So yeah, the Rolex was not giving though, but they've told me because I didn't have enough change. Ugandan shillings said I didn't want kuchonga viazi. And today is Sunday, so mostly most forex bureaus are closed. And I was scared to change enough money at the border because I was scared. Someone told me like <laughs> I can be given a fake fake money so I should be careful so I only wanted to change money enough for taxi and for maybe food for dinner today so tomorrow they've told me the people from here uh, this have been being so nice they give you like ideas so they've told me I can go to like the most he can recommend me is to go to Acacia Mall they have the best and honestly I think I'm gonna go there because when I travel, it's all about the people and the food. And I feel lonely, guys. This is a first solo female trip. My first solo dollar trip. And I feel so abandoned. <laughs> but I'm trying something new. I feel so abandoned. I wish I could be doing this with my partner. Like, my, my person. I wish, like, I'll get that. We need to find that person. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm so lonely. It just reminded me how lonely I am. But the good thing is people talk to you. When you travel alone, people talk to you a lot. Even the person who, the, my next um, passenger, like my neighbor, my passenger seat, my passenger seat, the person who was sitting next to me, he just started talking to me. Like we, we alighted for 
like a loo break and maybe a snack break and he decided like I was like playing with the person and he decided like I didn't know he was my neighbor he was like no don't worry I'll pay is it the water and no do you need only water and I was like mm, okay I wish I would put a snack there but no when I travel I try like this is a new thing I try not to consume food so that I don't have like low breaks and not my stomach not to be bloated and that that place is gonna be my 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 place that place there it's gonna be I'm gonna be sitting there a lot yes I'm gonna be sitting there a lot guys I wished I had booked those containers. Not that this place, this is not bad, but it's giving, the kitchen is nice. I've just made tea. Let me drink the tea. The tea is there. So I'm going to move that desk here so that I can be vlogging, sitting down and just watch the view. The view is amazing. I think I'm in the nicer part of Uganda, guys. Uganda people, you are going <laughs> to... I'm gonna go go and do, but I'm this is my first impression. I hope like me saying like I don't know you guys you know I had hmm, let's let's sip tea when I tell you this story about my my first time coming to Uganda. It was in Bali. Let me get my tea. So I was telling you what. <laughs> so the first time I came to Uganda, it was Bali. I had a Ugandan boyfriend at that time. And I think I was working too. This coffee, like, I don't know. It was smelling nice, but it's not nice. Anyway, I had a moment, it was my first time. I took like two days off to go and see my BF, my <laughs> boyfriend. And we went to Bali. I loved Bali immediately. I have a feeling I have an ish ish relationship with Kampala. It's too crowded and it's too much dust. But thank God, this area I am in doesn't look too much dust. And it's five. This area, this Airbnb is called Acacia Villa. I'll leave a pin if you're interested, ever in Uganda. Uh, but we have like we walk like the guy said how long? Fifteen, ten? No, five minutes. Yeah. The guy said five minutes to Acacia Mall, like it's just uh, like you can even see it from here. So tomorrow we're gonna go there. We're gonna explore this side of town. I don't know what else someone can do in, in Rwanda. Uh yeah. I think I wanna try their meal, my meals. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. I thought, like, I don't know, like Tanzania ruined, Tanzania and Zanzibar ruined my taste bud, and India, like, their food was so good. Like, I don't know if something, but when I was in Bali, we waited, we, I, like, my, my ex at that time, my Ugandan ex, like, he ordered me, like, fish and I think banana in peanut soup or something. It was really good. But of late, I don't know what's wrong with my taste bud. So it may not be Uganda. It may be me. Like my taste bud is craving healthy things. <laughs> this, this tea my mom gave me, like a traditional tea. So it's making me just want fresh organic food. Like I'm craving more salads. So I don't know. Don't like... Don't stay... Wow, what's the tallest building in Kampala, guys? I'm I'm reaching out for people. I'm reaching out to, uh, let me say, I'm reaching out to O'Shea to see if I can do a collaboration with him because I've been watching that guy for a long time and I'm, I'm so looking forward to, I think I, I would love to be on the podcast, so the podcast show Ken Ganda. So that's the main, main, main major thing that has made me like stop over here. Okay guys, let me not talk so much. Anyway guys, the Wi-Fi is working now. 
so I'm happy about that. This bed is clean. It's clean. It's lonely on the top. Lonely, lonely, lonely. Lonely on the top. The only thing that's bugging me is sharing the bathroom. But guys, you pay for what you get. Because the other, that new container and it's $29. I don't think you share the share the bathroom. There's just something about sharing the bathroom. Because now I could have jumped in the bathroom. I haven't jumped in the bathroom to shower yet. Okay guys, talk to you later. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna edit uh, the last video collabo with me and check check in effect, I'm gonna edit that. Uh, I'm gonna say if I can edit today, and maybe it'll be up before this Uganda vlog. I'm gonna put Uganda vlog, Uganda travel vlog, all together. Okay, I'm trying something new. Actually, I'm not playing. I came with my own like silk, silk pillowcase. Because of my hair. <laughs> so I don't want my hair to spoil and I sleep with pillowcases. So and so this hat from Fatin. Yeah, Fatin, my black American friendy. She carried a pillowcase, silk pillowcase. So that her hair doesn't spoil. Spoil. Okay. I'm actually gonna see if this network will go on my laptop because there's also no TV. But guys, for for twenty dollars, let me know in the comment section below. For twenty dollars, I was looking forward for clean, clean things. And I got that. It's clean. I don't feel itchy. Let's see. They say Wi-Fi in Uganda is terrible. Let me see. And he said like his place has the best Wi-Fi. So let's see. Let's see who if it's gonna connect. Yeah, I'm tired. Completely tired. It's lonely on the top. Lonely, lonely, lonely. Guys, it's refusing. Mark, do, do not play with Wi Fi. So I'm gonna, how am I gonna upload this video that I'm editing for Jack? Check, check, check in effect. How am I gonna upload it? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit it and see if it's gonna work tomorrow. Mark doesn't play. I'm so tired. I should probably like rest. It's lonely at the top, lonely, but it's connected in my, which is not on here. Guys, I don't know what, what's, what one's supposed to do here in Uganda. My only, let me, let me try and contact Oshie. Oh no, it has, it has connected guys. I was looking at the uh, yeah. Good morning, guys. Okay, I look crazy. <laughs> I haven't showered yet because there's someone in the shower. They're sharing showers. So I'm waiting for breakfast here. Yeah. Actually, breakfast is included. Nice. Wait.
Yeah, breakfast is included here. I'm waiting for it and I'm at the other guy. I'm actually liking this place. I've slept one night and it's really nice. I don't know why yesterday I was so eager. Thank you. Oh, yeah, just tea. You gotta take tea? Milk tea. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the food, breakfast, banana, pineapples, and chapati. In the tamalo. I'm having breakfast. This is free. This is actually free. And I like having breakfast before showering, but this makes up for it. I actually like this place. Some stuff stay up. It's okay. Mm. Let's put, I'm gonna put your sugar here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no milk tea? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's good. Let's take your seats. Thank you. So next time if I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna order like book a room that has a toilet inside. So they're actually people showering. Okay, so I'm gonna have breakfast. I don't know how to do what else to do. The banana is so good. The fruits are fresh. Fresh and organic. Hi guys, it's like 4.30, 4.23 a.m. on a Monday, so I'm following a map. I'm going to Acacia Mall. We, we are going to Acacia Mall. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Okay, let's see if I can vlog. <laughs> so I downloaded <laughs> my good friend, my special friend told me to do download Google Apple Maps and Google Maps offline so that you can give me directions while I'm in Uganda. 
so that's our tip guys so it's actually giving me when i'm offline so that's nice let's follow it we're almost there let's see there are a lot of motorbikes here we are actually sitting at one of or one of the seven beautiful hills of Uganda guys okay, there are so much, many motorbikes that's another impression of here okay, that's, I don't know guys you can see the mall. So I see this is a hill already. You see? It's actually showing me. And I'm offline. I think I'm in the nicer part of this town where there's so many restaurants. See? Yeah. Guys, I'm looking for a place to exchange money. I think I'll go there. How long will it take? So guys, I'm taking this one. Oh no, this one's taken. Okay, thank you. Guys, I don't know if I can get you to the Ghanaian Shiva. So you just divide by, I think, 25 to get it into your shoe. You get hook. Okay, so you should... So, yeah.
Now this is what is called. This is gold. I think I was not supposed to open it, but I wanted to open it to show you guys. <laughs> I think that's it. No. It's a grilled and chicken sandwich. Grilled and chicken. It is so good. I think by now you can look at mother's room. It's so good. This is so good. I think it depends on where you go to find food. Talk to you later. Oh, guys, that was one delicious, delicious Rolex. Like, I am in love. It depends on where you're eating Rolex. The place for yesterday, it wasn't good. And I was like, Is, Are you sure you can't just don't have good food? I was like, So skeptical. But I'm lucky. Like, if you are ever in Uganda, please just go this side of Acacia Mall. Yeah, around Acacia Mall and inside Acacia Mall and outside there are lit places like restaurants, food, even forex. You saw like I went out and about like trying to find a better exchange rate and I went to a dingy exchange rate thinking I'll get better but actually in the mall they change it at a good rate. At a good rate. So I'm so excited. I know by now if you are Ugandans watching this video Oh, I need to cut some parts out because you guys are going to come after me. But it's the places I was going that I was not feeling it. I was like, this is not the Uganda I, I visited. Like, how can Bali be better than Kampala? Like, I was, like, shocked. But today, first impressions, I love it. Like, the Akisha Mall and the surroundings have everything. You know, I'm a baby girl. I am a baby girl. So, Mimi, Sipendi Mateso. Spend the stress, mini baby girl. Can you even imagine there's a park here and people are taking even pictures? Boys are loud. As long as you don't take pictures of the police and parliament buildings. I like this area a lot. If you are if you're ever here, come this side. Oh, let me show you my I wanted to go and have a drink at one of those cute places I saw, but I don't think I am full. So I think I'm gonna come tomorrow. This is what I wore. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I wore. This is what I'm wearing. I'll see. I'll see why Kiki. I'll see why Kiki. And this dress I drifted. You guys were so salty at the oh you don't fit. With that, because of your stomach, let the stomach be stomach in. I do not care, and I have no. Huh? See? Do I look good? I look good. Anyway, guys, subscribe. I know Ugandans are gonna get me, but this is actually the places I was going. <laughs> this place, 
keep me in this area of Acacia Mall and the surroundings is the best. And if you're ever in Uganda, book my book the Airbnb. I think it'll be on the link on the description down below. I'll leave it there. But I'll leave leave the room I was sharing. But the the guy has many many listings. And if you want one that has your own bathroom and toilet, like it's more expensive than twenty dollars. I think it's forty dollars or forty five. You actually pay for what you get, so I'm not mad. So yeah, and imagine it's only like five minutes. If you're lazy like me, maybe eight minutes. No, I was not lazy. I was like cat walking and holding uh, the place. So yeah, book that place. It's near everything. I didn't even uh, need to take a Buddha Buddha. Mm. But if I want to take a Buddha Buddha, maybe it's 2,000 Ugandan shillings. But actually, I'm loving this side and tomorrow I'm going to come and explore this side. I'm not going to the village. I just want good life. I'm a classy lady. I like good places. I am just uh, question my God. Don't question me. She he put that dream in me. Like I feel so happy. You can already tell the Rolex was ah, like number one, my best Ugandan food. And I'm sorry, Ugandan. That was just my first impression. This is why you need to watch the video till the end because I'm actually loving the place. Because when I when I come to places, this is how I am. Like when I was first entering Uganda, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? If I wanted to travel, change location, I could have, I could have just went to the coast somewhere. I'm, I'm used to Tanzania where I'm used to. But when it comes time to, to go back home, I'm like, I don't want to go back. I want to stay. I want to stay longer. It was like, like that also with Tanzania. But the only place I really liked, it was Zanzi, but I didn't want to go. I didn't want to get out. Yeah. So, this is your key to always, like, be adventurous, be Dora the Explorer. I was like, calling my mom, I was like, I don't know why I'm coming to Uganda. But anyway, we here, and I was actually, this is en route. Stay tuned, because it's not... This was just a layover. <laughs> Can we say layover? Bus layover, land layover. But I'm going to another country, and I'm excited. I'm not. I'm not excited. Excited. I'm just like. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me. The sun is sunny. I am cute. And I'm so happy. Like I got to visit Uganda. And tomorrow I'm actually trying like the Luamba. Is it called Luamba? Okay, guys. See you. Bye. These people are coming. Hill. Smoking this hill. <laughs> Just carrying banana. Guys, have you noticed the difference? I'm trying to vlog like check. Touch me. Influenced by check. In effect, <laughs> thank you, bro. If you're watching, <laughs> obviously not, but maybe because today I am inspired to vlog like you in the streets of Kampala, Mawanda Street. I've just finished working here. This is the area. I don't really know how to choose this. This is Royal Palms. This area is so nice, guys. Nice because all the rest, all the restaurants are closed. Everything is closed. Bars. Acacia Mall is five minutes walk, guys. See? On a hill. And this is the friendly town. Hi.
there's no pictures. Guys, another first impression about Uganda is that they have a lot of paper bags, like nylon, like plastic bags, yes, that is the word. And you get it free. Like, this is so shocking as a Kenyan because, you know, Kenya, uh, what, what did Kenya do? We don't use plastic. So they go to use plastic in Kenya. So this is another first impression, like paper bags. So kind of feeling you can do something illegal. Yeah, powdery and I'm, I've run out. It's finito, but I like it so much. I need to squeeze the last bits. Guys, I'm back in the room, but let me show you how this lighting, like I'm not facing the light. I'm going to show you how this lighting, because I decided not to change the table. Because, like, I don't know. I want to be charged extra for changing the room, but see, fuck off. See how the lighting changes everything. See, the light is on. Do you see? Like I should be facing the window, but <clears throat> we move. This is not my house, so I don't want anything. I'm submitting work, by the way. I'm submitting a content that you will already have seen. So guys, support my my sponsorship videos by buying. By buying my, by buying my whatever. Anyway, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you something. I exchanged two thousand Kenyan shillings to Ugandan shillings, which I was given forty thousand, because the best rest that I could have found is twenty four at the forex bureau. And I was actually, when I was vlogging, I was alternating between my phone, my phone, and my camera, this one. Because, guys, at the mall, I don't want to get arrested and you'll be hearing, oh, Kimto got arrested in Uganda. Ay, no, 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 no. I, Mimi, I'm a pretty lady, pretty classy lady to be arrested. But I'm sure even if the police were to arrest me, they would, like, say, because... My face is, I can't commit no crime, right? <laughs> the police will be actually be whatever. <laughs> Let me show you the shillings, the money, the, the Ugandan money. Do people, I was, I was asking Chuck, like, how does he not get confused with like money? Because he was actually giving me this is Kenyan money. He was actually giving me extra change. I have money. I have money. So today the Rolex was I think nine thousand. I'll put I put the details when I'm buying it because I don't want to talk so much. This is gonna be a collective wall. I was saying at the park like Ugandans are gonna kill me, but that's why it's called first first impression. That was just my first impressions. I was shocked. Me, I'm not a hustle girl. I am a girl who loves good things in life. And that's why my attitude yesterday was not... I was ne a negative Nancy yesterday. Anyway, I was trying to show you. I was given 14000 but I spent a a 10000 at the at the, at the, sh at the shower, at the Rolex place. That Rolex was the most delicious, delicious... Rolex I've had. Anyway, this is how the 10,000s look. This is Ugandan money. So this is like 10,000. Divide by, if you're from Kenya, divide by 25. If you're Uganda, if you're, if you're in America, if you use USD, I'll try and uh, put on the screen when I'm editing this video. Please remember, editing Kamunto. Anyway, this is already spent and I feel like Ugandan is cheap. This is why that lady was saying bye bye. Like now I'm getting it. <laughs> I was really offended, but now I'm getting it because I've spent nine thousand five hundred for the soda. Nine thousand five hundred Ugandan shillings for the soda. That's like three, three, three hundred, three hundred and eighty Kenyan shillings. 
the Rolex and it was so good like guys it was so good so this is how they look I'm talking so much let me show you the new one this is how they look huh I think they have um, who is this person here there's a statue of this 10,000 shillings uh, currency this is their currency they have like calabashes here and then I don't know which who is this if you are in the house I know you guys are hungry at me by now and then I don't know this is the Uganda map is this the is this is 10,000 the highest car no it's 20,000 20, is 20,000 the highest currency I haven't have a 20,000 yet Comment down if you're Ugandan. Anyway, guys, I told you to reach out to me on Instagram if you wanna like always like be on the lookout for my Instagram page or my YouTube community because I'm gonna be doing like collaborations with other nationalities. Yeah, so that's how it's looking. I think this is a Ugandan uh, map, and then I think wh what is this? What is this plant? I don't know. Anyway, that's how much I was getting for forty eight thousand, and then this is five thousand. This is how five thousand looks. You see, I don't know what, which buildings are these, and then it has the like a Ugandan map here. See, and then I don't know which statue is this. What is this statue? There's a statue here. I don't know what this statue is. I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's 5,000. And then just divide by 25 to get roughly. 24, but just divide by, yeah, divide by 24 or 25. It fluctuates. The economy is so bad. Then this one, I've noticed one similarity. They have the Ugandan map. This is a 2,000 Uganda note. Then it has a map and something like that. And then this is 1,000 notes, 1,000 notes. This guy gave me, this forex was really nice, gave me nice money. This is 1,000. All of them have like a Ugandan map and then an animal at the center. Yes, that's what it is. Ah, there's something different at the center. Like this one has a banana at the like it's a map Ugandan map and then I think this is the cash crop and represent the different cash crop but I don't know what this is what does this represent I don't know what does this represent I don't know guys anyway and then this one has a like fish or something there's something in the middle I don't know what that is this one has an animal I won't even say which animal it is comment down below and this is a 1,000 note, and they're brand new. I'm gonna, I'm planning to spend it all because this. Look at the money I got at the border. Look at how old they are. This is the money I got at the border. But as long as it's money, I was scared to change money at the border because we are told to change. Look at this. Look at this. The way it's old. You see? Like I should have used this. I should have used this because look at how old. Compare this and this. Oh, baby. Compare this. Can't even see the animal. Compare this. Okay, wait. Did they give me the. This one I changed at the border so that I can have like Uber money. Like Uber or taxi money. But why can I not see? Wait. Oh. See how old they are. You know, if, if you are not familiar with any money, you will actually be given fake, but it's not fake. Anyway, always change money. I'm excited for Rwanda. I have dollars. I have dollars and a euro for you for Rwanda. For Rwanda, guys, I've just given you where I'm going. And then the shillings are this one. I guess this one is the five hundred. 500 Kenyan shillings said the coins so, and the coins wait focus this is the coins can it off no focus okay let me show you. let me put it down
this are the coins. I hope that you guys you are you're seeing this. This is five hundred. But wait, I don't think guys you are seeing. And then this one is two hundred. I think I showed you one hundred. The way it looks. Okay, let me show you. So this is five hundred. This is two hundred Uganda shillings, and then. Republic of Uganda. That's how they are looking. See? Money, 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 money. I got money. I'm rich. I got money. I am rich. <laughs> I need to get the 20,000. I don't think I'll get it. Maybe. Let's take a picture. I was actually talking about this place. This place is very, very nice. This place is actually very, very nice. For $20 a night, it is so worth it. Like extremely, I don't know if I have to explain it. It's extremely worth it. The first time I was, when I was checking in, I felt like it was like, I don't know. Like you know how the feeling you get when you want to know if... Um, it was, but I have this thing, I know how to choose like good Airbnbs, like I don't know why, like I, I will check the reviews, I'll check the pictures, I'll check the description, how it describes this place, this place is so nice, like I've just walked, and if you know came to, I don't like walking, but I've walked, there's just a small hill which is nothing actually, which I've shown you, but it's actually worth everything, like it's five minutes from Acacia Mall, and there's everything in Acacia Mall, like totally everything. Like, learn from me, Dora the Explorer. Like, the first time I was checking in, the first day, I went on another, like, instead of going, I went, instead of going to Acacia direction, I went to this other direction. It did, it wasn't giving, I'm sorry, but it wasn't, like, giving the whatever. But you pay for the value of money you want. So, like, this is the place, like, this place is called Acacia Villa. I'll leave the, the, everything that you need. I think the Airbnb that I booked, I booked through Airbnb. I'll leave it on the description box below. I am not, like, I'm just giving you the plug. And I'm telling you my experience. The only thing I can change, but just remember, I pay $20. It's my room only, as you can see. That's my room. I love the big window, the big light so well. This place is safe. There's also like the dog is friendly, don't worry. And you can bring your dog, your pets. You can smoke if you're a smoker. And it's actually mostly packed. Like there are people of all nationalities. There's Kenyans, there's... I, I've seen a lot of Europeans. I've seen a lot of other nationalities too. And the breakfast is, is free also. And it's near everything. Like, talk about changing money. You don't have, a, have to worry. Because I, I, ch I looked at changing money at a local forex. And the local money people at the border. It's better you change at the mall. Like, maybe ask them, oh, can you give me a better rate? And if they will, they'll give you. But it's actually worth it and you don't have the stress of like you're going to be given a fake money when you can actually change a little bit small change so that you can use for when you arrive like you can change maybe like ten dollars so because everything even the borders even the border is like five thousand ugandan shillings like it depends you just like i love this place and the only thing if i'm gonna come back to uganda again i'm gonna stay at a Acacia Villa, hands down. I'm gonna like because I don't like sharing bathroom. I don't know, there's something about it, especially when you're going to be, but it's clean, it's super clean. They are keeping everything super clean, as as oh, they keep it clean like at different times. Like they keep on like checking out if you take a shower, they come and clean it for the next person to take a shower. So, yeah, there are two bathrooms, and I'm lucky like the room I'm in. The bathroom is just like, I open my door and it's there. So I'm lucky about that. But they have container houses which are going, I think, for $29. I 
I'm not sure if you share a room or if you share, but they, there's, a, there's actually a, another one on, on the on the first floor. It has a balcony and it's $45 and it's master in suit and it's like really nice. Let's check the listing from the person and you will see. So that's the only thing I'll change. But I paid for what? I, the the money was lesser because let me tell you if this room had a master in suit I'll be paying forty five dollars but I did not anyway um ah uh, I don't know like I like being safe clean and everything just walking distance and this place is it you you save on borders and everything and you like every restaurant and there was even like lounges like band lounges like lit bar lounges it's monday and people are filled to the brim i was scared to vlog because i didn't want i wanted to test the if i can vlog on the mall but tomorrow we are going to eat uh finally i asked around where to eat like ugandan local ugandan meat and we got it so we're going to go and eat that and then go to a lit bar lounge and take a drink there i'm so excited i'm so happy like i'm loving uganda this is the first night second day and i'm loving kampala uganda i am so in love with it it's like the way time i went to mbali i was instantly in love with mbali now I'm solo dolo. I'm doing things solo. I'm vlogging on the streets like my my bro check in effect like told me like some advice and um I'm I'm acing it right and I'm so excited guys that's what I'm gonna be doing actually. I'm not gonna be booking for going for a while because those are not me. For, for me, like when I travel I travel for the food culture and the people mostly so and i don't love like shady places i'm scared of shady places i love the market i hope i can find like someone who can take me to the market because i'm actually scared to go to the market for for another country alone because i don't know the ins and out but apart from that i'm like loving everything i love uganda guys this is like um I know I'm going to get, I don't even know if I should put the first time I was here. You guys are going to murder me. <laughs> but I guess I was so mad at the at the bus. But anyway, we're going to give everything a try. That's why you're told, don't quit. Always try harder. Always do the positive side of things. So I'm loving Uganda currently. And I'm loving the food. I love your food. And I can't wait to try the more local traditional food. I love, I'm in love with Rolex. I am so in love with Rolex. I can take even Rolex tomorrow. But maybe I'm going to take it for breakfast tomorrow here. Because breakfast here is free on this Airbnb. And they give you fruits. I think Uganda is the basket of, of fruits. How do you say that thing? Anyway, guys, I've talked too much. Let me edit. I'm going to submit this uh, dossier campaign that I'm doing. I hope they'll accept it. And then edit, continue editing. Because yesterday, let me not lie, I was exhausted. I fell asleep. I didn't get to edit. So let me edit. And then we will talk later. Let me edit and edit the... Which one? I am, I am rich, I am rich, rich, <laughs> I'm gonna find, I think I'm gonna try and find, let me not play, I'm not changing any more money, this is what I have to, to eat, because we are going to, one day, <laughs> so let's travel in. Okay, guys, let me finish editing the check one. I don't know what title sh I should put. I'm gonna say because I took check on all my favorite places. I wanted to take him to to CJ's, but check was wanted like local, local, local food. So I had to take him where he wanted. Uh, yeah, so let me edit. Talk to you later. Good night, talk to you tomorrow. It's currently 
642 but that's basically what I'm doing edit submit the content and uh, chill chill at the balcon yes did you guys love my outfit my outfit my outfit is actually in Congo but if I had someone I can make a see mm. okay talk to you tomorrow <laughs> Oh, I forgot to show you guys what I bought. I bought these snacks. This is called Sim Sim. Sim Sim Seeds. Come on, focus. This is called Sim Sim Seeds. As a snack, I think they are very common here. Mm. So good. Yeah? So good. It's like snacks. This is Ugandan snacks. And this is peanuts. Roasted peanuts. Everyone know no roasted peanuts. Okay. That's what I wanted to show. It's actually raining. I don't know if you can hear it. I was getting ready. I've already showered. I was getting ready to go to go like start activity of today. But it's raining. Uh, yeah, I've showered. I've had breakfast. It's around 12 and it's raining. The weather doesn't look promising. But hopefully it will clear. And we'll go. I'm debating should I go to the roots? restaurant or go or go to the queue because I was trying to google I want to eat like traditional like you see like banana plantain or is it banana green banana on the leaves banana leaves that's what I want to eat today like I want to eat traditional food so this I googled this restaurant it's like seven minutes away by Uber um, debating because that's what I want to eat. Like, I want to eat Rolex, the, the place where I ate yesterday. But I have to try. Like, I travel for food. And I have to try, like, the other foods that are here. Sindio. Anyway, guys. Uh, it's completely raining outside. See? It's, it is raining, raining, raining. Anyway. We'll see or go to the cube. Someone told me yesterday that there's a restaurant there, but I have to come at 1 p.m. lunchtime. It ends. So I'm thinking either go to the road because I'm checking out tomorrow. Either, I don't know, like we'll decide where we go. Okay? It's my outfit. <laughs> Skin is glowing. I, I'm not gonna do makeup on this on Kampala on Kampala because it's extremely raining right now. Oh shit, it's raining completely. I don't know if you can see. It's raining. Anyway guys, talk to you later when we decide where to go. I wanted to go there was I don't know what activities I was supposed to do because I was here maybe three nights only. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see where to go. We'll debate. 
or I want to go something silly. I want to go to the mall and sit and have coffee. I think that's what I'll do. We'll decide, okay? This is the skin type. Even if it rains, you need to apply sunscreen. So yeah, this is things I came with. This thing has been really good to me. See? This is, I just applied like, I don't know how to call this. So, um, I'm just applying, I'm doing my skincare. I'm using this ginger more. You remember that time? <laughs> what? I just get ready and stay ready so that when the rain subsides, we can go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfume of the day. We need to be smelling good. I was saying, like when I travel, I don't like, like it's good, like I'm doing solo traveling, solo dolo. I just want to try some things before, like I have my partner. I just want to, try. but it's so hard, it's good, but it's hard because I'm really shy. But one thing I've noticed when I travel solo, like people come to you, people talk to you, especially like this Airbnb, there are so many nationalities and uh, I love sitting at the garden having breakfast and just chilling when watching the sunset. This this something like I don't like to, like it's good to plan because now I feel like I haven't planned enough. See. Okay, there's this real I saw and then people who travel for activities. Let me please. show you. People who travel for activities, please relax. Relax. I speak for myself and those on the trip who can't speak, please. Relax. Why would I clock out of my life just to clock in on my vacation? Relax. We have to we, we, we have to zip line, we have to take the canoe, we have to hula hoop, we have to bungee jump, we have to pond the river, we have to we just relax. relax. The vacation is not going anywhere. We booked it, we booked it, we all booked it, we booked this trip. Why would I be using my time off? would I be using my free time for time that is not free? Think about it now. Hmm? Relax. It's not that serious. Like we, we travel for an experience. It doesn't have to be Indiana Jones every time. It doesn't have to be a, a big expedition. Just relax. Stress. Stress. This is, this is why I value solo trips a lot more now because when you do these group trips, it's this pressure. Everybody must be magic school bus. Everybody must be expedition every time. Once it's a group trip, it becomes, and listen, I, I get it. I might seem like I'm anti-social. I don't like group things. I like group things. It's just to strip people who travel for activities. Yeah, activities. that's me. Like, I don't, like, it's good to plan activities, like, but don't be like, I don't know, like, it's good. Either side is good. But I don't know, I feel like more relaxed when I don't have anything scheduled. And then, more so, to me, this is like not like really a vacation. I have to come here and do like, because I'm a content creator. 
and lifecycle tech creator, travel, beauty, everything, fashion. So I have to do things and be informational. But this Uganda, it was like, it's, it wasn't planned at all. I just said, let me come here, try out their food, see the people, that's all. And then, this is me. It's another hotel breakfast is at 10 30 a.m. Me waking up at 10 to 10. To, this, this meme is so me. Look, wait. It is so me. Guys, follow me on Instagram. And okay, the, the rain is subsiding, so we have hope. I just want to go, like something, I want to go to, no, I'm going to Akesha Mall because that's where everything is lit. And I'm thinking of wearing, I'll show you my outfits. Okay, talk to you later. Let me decide what I'm wearing. I don't know how respectable Ugandans are, or should I, because I'm thinking of wearing my romper and then wearing an outer coat because it's, cold it's hot it's sunny it, the weather is moody so i think i should wear that but i should take a no it's straight it's nice okay talk to you later guys i'm thinking what should i wear should i wear this Wait. should i wear this it's a jump it's a romper It's a romper, it's an old navy romper with spaghetti straps, it's from Old Navy, I don't know if you can see it, it's from Old Navy, and then the outwear, actually no, there's no iron here, I should wear this, or should I wear this and this, looks good. This and this. Wow, this one is. Wow, I think. Okay, I'll wear them and then I'll let you know. Is this appropriate for Uganda? Is it? I like this rompa. Rompa. Ooh, 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 ooh. How you see? Like. With this. These are I wear with these sandals. They are from Zara. Zara. <laughs> they are from Zara. But I will not be color blocking. See? Or this one. Let's try them out. Let's try them. Is this appropriate for you, Kanda? Like this shot. This way. I need more outer. This way. This way. Should I wait like that? Is this appropriate for you, Kanda? Or I just saw the Uber. Because with Uber, go in and out. That way. Oh, let's 
straight the other one. I need more outer quotes like this, like that, or oh, this. This is giving office. This is when I have my man. My man, if I have a man, I would work like this. I think the best bet is to take an open and just go. Because I'm going to a lounge. Yes, I'm going to a lounge. I want to be seen. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, it's still raining, but it's still early. But I like get being early. I am happy. Yesterday, I finished everything that I had to do. I submitted the the video. I finished editing. It's uploaded. I'm just waiting for yeah. the go ahead to publish it. So now work today. Now working. Now work. Now work. Now work today. So, I still have cash with me. I'm checking out by the way, guys. I'm checking out tomorrow. And I don't feel like going. I told you guys. <laughs> I feel like, but at least Uganda is our neighbor. So I can always come back. But guys, the passenger who seated next to me, uh, he was going to Kigali. He told me, let me see, let me see. Like they are supposed to reach Kigali. It's like, let me tell you, like modern course is crazy. I'm even like debating if I'm going back with modern course because the plan was to go with modern course straight from Rwanda to Uganda. I was actually going to go to, not I was going from, I wanted like, this stop was not the stop I wanted to take. I wanted to go, the trip, the main trip was Rwanda, Kigali. But then I was scared because they told me it's 24 hours, a full day to travel from Nairobi to Kigali. That is, I, I can't, I, I said, I don't trust this car. And it proved me right. And then the passenger was sitting next to me. They were supposed to reach, let me, let me tell you what, what he told me. He told me, yeah. I asked him like if they reached uh, Kigali safely. He told me they left Kampala last, the, like uh, at 8 p.m. And they were given another bus because the one we came in from Nairobi couldn't be serviced by yesterday. It was going like a total ease, I'm telling you. So apparently the second bus we are given also had a problem. The tire busted in the middle of nowhere and they had to spend three or four hours again waiting. After all those, they managed to reach Igali the next following day at 2 p.m. So it's like they spent one and a half days. So I'm like, where am I gonna get a babe who will just fly me? Like this, this life is so hard. This life is so hard. Like I'm thinking like if I can get, because I fly from Rwanda, to Nairobi because I'm thinking I haven't booked the flight yet, uh, the bus yet because it's 5,200 Kenyan shillings. So I'm thinking like, I wish I could afford that money. I would have taken a, these are decisions, like I could have just taken a flight from Rwanda Street because this is dangerous again, this adventure. Oh Lord, so help me God. Or maybe this video will go viral. <laughs> and then I'll book a flight. Anyway, let's chill. It's uh, it's 12. Wait. It's 12.31 on Tuesday. And maybe I'll go to the lounge around 5 or 6. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm shy. I'm a shy girl. I'm a shy girl. 
I'm a shy doll. But this outfit is giving. It is giving. I'm going to lounge. Okay, see you when I go to the lounge. Guys, I went on Google. There's no way I'm gonna wear shorts. Like, shorts and certain colors are prohibited. I've just Googled, like, advice, appropriate clothing to wear here. So, I don't feel comfortable. Like, short shorts, I don't want to, I really want to be respectable. So, I need to change my clothing. Because, um, also, like, colors that are not allowed. Which color? Red and yellow. Because they, they, uh, they show, like... <laughs> We are loyalty to certain political whatever so it's not allowed and many mini skirts and short shorts like if you have shorts they should be me anything at least above the knee or knee length so i don't want to be offended i don't want to be arrested here so let me change so i'm thinking like even Mini mini skirt was once banned. Like, ha, it does a ban on the <laughs> on the law. If you have mini skirts, you're gonna be arrested. So I don't know if you're Ugandan. Let me know in the comment section below if this is true. So I'm thinking, should I wear this? Like loose, loose, loose pants with this, with this top, and then because it's somewhat chilly. And this, this outfit, we'd go together. I've been wearing this a lot, <laughs> or I just go simple. Wait. Or if I there's no iron, and I think I'll have to pay extra. This would be well, this would have been perfect, but it needs ironing. This dress, it's very long. This could have been. Perfect here with a belt, but I don't have an iron, guys. Or this one, I love this dress. This one would have been so perfect. The material is it's cotton, yeah, I think it's cotton, but it needs it still needs ironing too. See, but it's so tall. This would have been perfect. And then with a belt, I have a belt. So, <laughs> so this one is yellow. This one with the jeans would have been perfect. But then again, this is yellow, and they obviously won't allow. If you're gonna tell me if this is true, so I'm left with just being safe and wear this. I feel like this will be okay. I wore this at the event. And when I like something, I wear it a lot of time. I'm not a, I am not a celebrity yet. <laughs> so, I think even if I'm a celebrity, I'm those kind of people. I'll wear like if I like it. So let me just wear this. I'm quite too safe. This one is the dress. I wear this. I don't want stress. Okay, let me pack. We are going tomorrow. We are checking out tomorrow. Wait. We are checking out tomorrow. <coughs> we are checking out tomorrow, so let me just pack at 10. No, I am checking out at 12. Okay, look at the PNB. But this thing, this story, you are checking out. I don't want to come up with me. I don't want to Oh, I have this red dress. But I think this red dress is short. This is, if I was in a hotel, this is what I would have worn. But I think it's not, 
Snigman. Black no. It is. But the cleavage. Let me just be. Let me be. Let me be. Careful. Okay. It's still early. It's still by 3.12 p.m. Guys, and I'm getting so many memes on so Instagram. Let me see. How will I get it? And vacationing. Travelers want to go to museums. They want to do the history tours. They want to get up at 6 a.m. and do the hikes. Vacation people want to lay out by the pool, lay out by the beach, get their party on, get their drink on, take a nap. <laughs> Relax, get massages, and you cannot force these two people to do the other activities. You can be a hybrid of both, but you're going to prioritize one or the other. So make sure you're going on a trip with someone that also does the same thing, and budget is a big So are you a traveler, or are you a vacation person? I think I'm... I don't know. I think it depends. I don't want to. I think I'm 50-50. Anyway, guys, let me pack. It's still early. I want to go to the lounge. So, most definitely I'll start vlogging with my phone. Because I actually want to go and, like, meet people, see people, just check the vibe, enjoy the vibe, nightlife. Because Kampala is known for the nightlife. So, if I'm... <laughs> and I'm going with that dress. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. Because it's all, it's Tuesday, so I don't know. Not expecting much. I'm gonna get talk to you later. Actually, these are the things I packed lighting, which is as calm Andy. My own, like, bar soap. It smells so good. Do you want to get toothpaste? Of course. I came with this is a face wash. This is my toothbrush. This is like a charging cable. This is mine cable. I came with it. Uh, charging things, camera, whatever. Because I'm a content creator. Only one bag because I feel like this is enough for me. And yeah, camera bag. Okay, I travel with this bag because I didn't want, uh, because I knew I was traveling with a bag, with buses. But me me na passes <laughs> I think that will be all that you need and a bunch of mini clothes to try them out. I give towels but I decided to come with my own laser to clean the private dry clean the private part and then these are the coats, some of the coats that I came with outwear. It started to be so here yeah, I'll wear this with the ring. This coat, yeah, this one, that's all. I didn't line my, my whatever. And then this is the skincare outfit. I came with this skincare. No, I'm putting there. Perf perfumes, remix. I can never go with, wrong with a remix. And hair food. I came with... Uh, three pairs. These shoes, uh, they've worked. <laughs> uh, these Zara shoes, socks, of course. Then I came also with three pairs of white sneakers. White sneakers. Shoes. And so, of course, guys, I'm going to change when I reach uh, the lounge. We're going to change. So it's the quality it's not that good. I'm using my phone because it's a lounge. I don't want to be with my camera like, hi guys, I'm in the lounge. Huh? huh? I'll do some sneaky, sneaky videos with my phone, like my food and the drink. I'm actually sad that I'm leaving. I feel like now is when I know like things to do in Kampala. But I was... Waiting to do like a podcast, but that didn't did go as planned. Anyway, that's okay. There's always 
uh, uh, Kampala is, uh, is my neighbor, so we'll go to waterfalls. But the national park, like things, sometimes the things that are here, they're also in my country. So I feel like, why should I waste money to do activities that I've done already? So, yeah. So, yeah. okay, we'll go to Rwanda. Uh, we'll come back again. Like, I didn't know activities to do. I didn't research well because I, didn't, I don't like researching. Anyway, bars and restaurants, it is. Sorry, guys. If this Uganda vlog is not living up to Kemoto Bear travel vlog standards. But if you know me, you know I love bar lounges, restaurants, and the local people. That's what I love. And good resting places. Anyway, now let's go. <laughs> the next video. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy I got the podcast interview and I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, so we've scheduled it for tomorrow with Oshie, Oshie Dixon. <laughs> I was very persistent because I wanted, I wanted that interview. So I ended up wearing this. <laughs> you see? <laughs> so it's not revealing that much. Anyway... So I was like, I need money. I need. I have Ugandan shillings, but I also have like dollars just to be, to be safe. Like I have dollars and euros. See, like this euros, guys. The serial number of like it's better when you're coming to Africa. Like don't have like a small change like this. You won't get. Uh, the exchange rate will be lower. What do you say? Yeah, the exchange rate will be lower if you come with loose bills, like $20, $20 loose bills. It will be so low. Wait. <laughs> it will be so low. It will be so low. So it's good if you come with hundreds or maybe even fifties, but this one you'll get like right now in Kenya, even here in Kampala. If you have small, I'll, I'll show you. If you have small bill, and especially also make sure it's 10 here, like the serial number, the series number, you see? Like this series number is 2017. This is okay. If you come with series that 